Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ball lightning. Okay, so it's ripping up the ground, the electrical field simulated. This is actually air. The, the jar is sealed, but the seal isn't very good. It's just regular air. We'll take the top off. There's a bit of a, a break there. The seal breaks, and uh, we get smoke on the inside. And we're going to do, we also get moisture because of the soil. This is potting soil. And what I'm using is a 300 kilohertz homemade Tesla coil I built and designed to simulate the lightning. Um, it produces 300 kilohertz uh, but it also produces some static electricity because the electrons get spun around a little bit in a surge when you start it so you get some DC element as well which is uh, important to simulating lightning but the electrical fields generated in clouds have frequencies because of the way that uh, they're a little bit more chaotic but they can get actually uh, less chaotic and some on some planets lightning actually has a a sound to it that almost sounds artificial. Okay, now this is plasma, this is lightning. This is lightning striking the ground. Notice how it heats up and pieces of it fly up into the, into the, hit, see, 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 piece flew up. That's ball lightning. It gets hot enough under the, the conditions and lightning strikes can be multiple like this. So, hang on. And occasionally, now that's one type, actually, of ball lightning. There's more than one type of ball lightning, I've predicted. Um, now we're filling up with smoke, and we're going to take the chamber. The smoke is getting destroyed by the plasma. We've got this little vortex going on here, and we're burning the heck out of the, the bottom there. And now we're going to let it fill up with smoke. You can kind of see the smoke there. And that's going to get condensation. You can see all the smoke built up in the jar now. Unfortunately, I don't think you can because you're on YouTube. I can see it. and I'm trying to find my flashlight. I can show it to you. There, there it is. Uh, that's what the inside of the jar looks like. Now, that's smoke and condensation. When we hit it with the high voltage, we, we get it. It just disappears. I remind you that uh, this is proprietary technology that's already been, uh, <coughs> already been patented and or... Um, uh, is in the works, so uh, please do not uh, think that you get the idea. Okay, uh, ball lightning and the effects of a plasma. We're also getting the moisture out of this that's inside this chamber, which is only partly sealed. If we heat that up a lot, the plasma just completely obliterates the smoke while it's on. Now, if we have an atmosphere full of this, we're going to get some interesting other effects in ball lightning. But it could still, obviously, is going to happen. It's not easier. It's not as easy to see. Let's try to. Okay, well, I don't have a lot of time left on the recording card, so that's what I wanted to show you, the effects of ball lightning on soil. You can see some of these little streamers arc out there. That was just one right there. If you don't, if you didn't see what I saw, it's on the left-hand side. There's another one uh, forward. There's another one forward. Rewind and take a look at it. This idea, in theory, has been postulated by Gabriel Beasley, Kilo Fox 7, Delta Fox Papa, but it's also been 
postulated by other people, but the idea to actually test it this way was my idea. Now, I'm not saying other people haven't come up with it, but... Okay, our tube's getting too hot. Back off the power. That thing's slamming electrons. All right. I got to shut the experiment down because I got to watch that tube. This baby will keep going until it gets red if I'm not careful. It's it's not bright red glowing, but it's uh, getting a little hot, so we're going to turn her off. <clears throat> Okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep that closed for a while because... <laughs>